Okay, YouTube, I just want to go over a couple things here with you real quick. I want to make this a real short, fast, sweet video. Um, I just came up with a question. You know, why are the serpent cedars so angry and so violent, so pronged of violence and just fighting and fussing and shooting people and stuff like that? Um, case in point, uh, we've got another serpent cedar here besides Jonathan. Um, this is an article on him, Serpent Seed and the Kenites. You, you can pretty much replace Arnold Murray with Jonathan Kleck and Kenites with Kleckites, and uh, you pretty much got the same MO. It goes on, it talks about, uh, if you want to summarize the, the, the article, it says here, uh, nevertheless, and this is what I've been saying for all, for seems like years now I've done videos multiple videos on it. it says nevertheless his entire position of the serpent seed doctrine is easily refuted uh, when we examine uh, Genesis 4 1 now the man had relations with his wife Eve and she conceived and gave birth to Cain and said I've gotten a man child with the help of the Lord that's a little bit twist of the uh, Genesis uh, 4 1 King James where it says and Adam knew his wife Eve, and she conceived and bare Cain, and said, I've gotten a man from the Lord. That's the same thing. All right, we're getting here real quick to Arnold Murray. Um, this to show you how these serpent cedars are pretty violent. Check this out. This is going to blow your mind. And he said it with the Holy Spirit's guiding, of course, uh, Last to the word. And um, so I uh, will hands off. Out of here. Here, take this nine millimeter of that boy. And he said it with the Holy Spirit's guiding, of course, uh, to the word. And um, so I will hands off. Out of here. Holy Spirit. Here, take this nine millimeter of that boy. And he said. So there you go. I mean, he's ready to blow the guy away. He's pulling a gun on him, you know. Um, and then we got Jonathan here. He's he's upset and and rightfully so over these abortions. I I mean I I get that he's upset. But listen to what he says. He's talking about killing somebody. I mean that's just over the top. You just want to just beat someone to death. This is insane. You get that? Gonna beat somebody to death. I mean, here, I'll play it one more time. I just wanna just beat someone to death. This is insane. Now, does this sound like a prophet? Does this sound like somebody really walking with the Lord? I mean, what happened to having peace that uh, surpassed all understanding? Okay? Oh, and here's another video I had done previously on it, um, where he's just, again, just super angry. Okay, so here we go. We're going to play another clip where I've, I've already covered this uh, once before, but I'll play it, play it for you briefly again. Because I can decrypt what they do. Whenever you see a priest holding a little clip, let me tell you something. Dude, I mean, come on, violence. Let's check it out one more time. Because I can decrypt what they do. Whenever you see a priest holding a little plate, let me tell you something. It's not what you think. It's sick. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I freaked out one time. I told him, well, I can't do this. This is too much. I can't so now it's kind of like getting some vindication, you know, so yeah, I'm not all that. Okay. I don't know. I mean, 
totally out of control. So then, you know, everybody has a past. And um, if you look up his records, Bexar County, and I'm not going to go over all of them here. He's got like three pages. And um, I'm just more interested in the anger issues. Okay? Assault, bodily harm injury. It's quite lengthy. It's uh, a lot of entries here. A lot, a lot of entries. Court appearances, fines, $4,000 plus fines, probation, blah, blah, blah. Um, Jonathan, man, look, you got to control your temper. This is not something that Christians should be doing. You shouldn't be threatening people with violence. Um, this is the second time they've done this in the last couple of weeks. You need some help, man. Check out maybe some anger control classes or something. Because in one of these days you might threaten the wrong guy. Could happen. See you guys later.